Hey, I'm Jamie. And I'm Jay. And today we're gonna make a spooky Halloween light. Halloween, we do a really big haunt setup in our yard. It's kind of a New Orleans graveyard theme. We've got tombstones, skeletons, ghosts, and this year we're gonna make some really cool swamp lights to hang from the trees in our yard. So we made a bunch of these swamp lights last year, and they were such a big hit that we wanted to make a few more and show you how it's done. So I'm not really sure exactly what kind of fabric this is, but if you Google spooky Halloween fabric, you're sure to find it. I want the fabric to look like Spanish moss, so I'm gonna dye it with a little bit of green and brown fabric dye. I screwed up here and used a little bit too much brown, so I had to re-dye it. Don't, don't be like me. This has to sit for about 30 minutes, so while we're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and prep our mason jar. I want the jar to look old, so I'm gonna apply a thin layer of paint to it. This will also help to diffuse the light. I'm using acrylic paint, and I wanna make it look dirty, so I'm gonna use dirt. The dirt didn't actually do a whole lot, but it gave it a little bit of texture. I crumpled up a paper towel and got it wet and used that to sponge a really, really thin layer of paint on. To make it look even dirtier, I made a wash with some brown paint and then used a toothbrush to flick on some little spots. To make a wash, you mix a little bit of paint with a lot of water and this helps it to be transparent. I used some green for the final touch. Alright, that looks good. Let's let this dry and then we'll put it all together. Rinse out your fabric really well. I have no idea why I'm only wearing one glove. Make sure your fabric is completely dry before the next step. The width of the fabric seemed fine as is, so I just cut off some excess at the bottom. I'm using a hot glue gun here to loosely glue it around the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect. You want to keep it gathered and organic looking. This is just some twine you can get at any craft or hardware store. I glued one end on and then wrapped it around really tight. This helps to hide the edge where the fabric is glued on. It's okay to go a little overboard on the glue. You want these to last. So I'm gonna trim this fabric a little more at the end to make it look organic, kind of like Spanish moss, but for now we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of it together. So the way that these things actually light up is from these solar-powered pathway lights that you can get at the big box store. These actually cost about three bucks a piece when you buy a bunch of them. We got a couple different ones because we weren't sure exactly which type we wanted to use. They all basically do the same thing, but there were some slight differences, mainly in the LED on the bottom here. We wanted to modify this and that one wasn't gonna work. So we took this one and went forward. This is definitely like extra credit here. You really don't need to do this, but what I wanted to try here was to take apart one of these little flickering candles with a very orange light that are meant to sort of replicate candlelight. And I took it apart and basically cut off the orange flickering LED and I was going to try to install this in the solar light and see if that would work. So we took off the bottom of the solar light. That was pretty easy, just three screws and the bottom popped right off. I was pleasantly surprised at how simple it was inside. It was just a real basic little circuit board. If it was something real complicated, I wasn't going to do this, but this seems like it's going to go. It was just kind of pressure fit in there, so I pulled it off and all I had to do was heat the solder on the back and the LED came right off. I then took the other one and checked the positive and negative on the battery, slid it into the same spacer, and then used the same solder, just heat it up and slid it right in. And uh, yeah, all right, that worked. It's a really small modification, but it's gonna give us a more natural orange kind of candlelight look to it, and it's gonna be better than that just bright white LED. To attach the light, I used some hot glue on the rim of the jar. Then I used even more glue to make sure it wasn't going anywhere. To hide the seam where the light's attached to the rim, and make sure no light escapes, we used more twine. I want to give the lid a weathered look, so I start off by dry brushing on some greens and browns and bronze colors onto it. I really like dry brushing because it's easy to do, it's super forgiving, and it always gives you a really cool effect. I used a black wash to highlight the seam around the edge. This helps to give it a little more character and not look so flat. When you're making a Halloween prop, one of the keys to making it look authentic is to make sure that it looks like it's been out in the world for a while. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid to mess it up, experiment, and make it dirty. 
These are gonna hang from a tree in our front yard and we're not really sure how high or low we want them to be yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple pieces of string and tie a loop at the top. That way we can use another piece of string to hang them. If you're gonna hang these outside, they're gonna sway in the wind quite a bit. To make sure my attachment is secure, I used some hot glue and then tied the knot. The same thing gets repeated on the other side, again making sure it's really secure and double knotted. From there, take your two strings, loop them at the top, and tie a knot. We have about 10 of these hanging in our trees. I love them because they're affordable to make and they create a really cool spooky atmosphere. And in case you were wondering, yes, we leave ours up year round. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We hope you were inspired by this video and that you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the Wicked Makers channel. We love Halloween here and we have a ton more prop and costume videos coming up. Thanks again for watching, and especially this time of year, stay wicked. Today we're gonna make a spooky Halloween light. Spooky. So spooky. <laughs> I should probably not do that. Should I do that? <laughs> I don't know.